All right. All praise, honor, and glory is unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakhakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. A great millstone that rule well. Citations unto the elect God, keep enduring in his truth with all long suffering and sound doctrine. Hasten unto the second coming of our Lord. Yahweh Shai by the will of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So I'm going to title this video, Take Advantage of the Brotherhood, but Don't Take Advantage of the Brotherhood. You know, and the reason why I entitled it that is because while we're here upon this earth in this current captivity, you know, us as fellow servers and um, fellow soldiers and uh, men that are toiling in this truth, you know, we're, we're supposed to be here for each other, you know, to love each other in the law, you know, to watch each other's backs, you know, to um, reprove and rebuke each other. You know, for all, all for righteousness sake, you know. Hey, and like when a brother's having a certain problem, you know, say, say a brother's having a problem, he doesn't know how to judge a situation correctly, or he's having a problem judging the situation, that's why we have the brotherhood as well, man, you know. And, and, and not only for um, spiritual aspects, mainly for spiritual aspects, right, but, you know, also... Like if a brother's, you know, doing bad, you know, a brother might need a couple of dollars, you know, you should be able to call on the Akim opposed to calling somebody in the world, man, you know. I mean, if a brother doesn't have it, you know, sincerely, then a brother doesn't have it. And if the world is your last resort, then, you know, so be it. You know, the Most High Yahweh Shemir is going to look out for his people regardless, but you're supposed to talk to the Akim, you know. That's the whole point of us. That's the whole point of the brotherhood, you know, being there for each other all around the board. Now, what I mean by not taking advantage, you know, it's just plain and simple. This is why I have Ecclesiastes, the sixth chapter up. You know, it says, um, no, don't, don't take advantage, don't take advantage of the brothers. Meaning, don't be, don't be using a brother, you know. Like, don't, like, don't use a brother for personal gain. You know, don't, don't, um, Capitalize on a brother's weakness. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do um don't do evil towards the brothers and make it seem like it's spiritual. All right. So hey, Lord willing, this is edifying onto what I'm about to get into, and uh, I'm just gonna get straight into the scriptures. This is uh Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter six and verse one it says, "Instead of a friend, become not an enemy." For thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall the sinner that have the double tongue. All right? So it says, instead of a friend, become not an enemy. All right? So that's saying don't give a brother a reason. But really, it, really, this is talking about anybody for that reason. Don't give nobody a reason to become an enemy. All right? And like don't walk up to a random, you know, a random Jake or a random person in the world and just create problems because the scriptures uh in proverbs it tells us man don't uh do no harm to somebody if they ain't did nothing to you okay so it says instead of a friend become not an enemy but i'm, I'm speaking specifically on the brotherhood you know don't act like you're a friend don't act like you're um truly down for the brotherhood for the ministry but you're really backbiting are you know, you're really being a nigger because it says Cause thou shalt inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. All right, you're gonna have a, a blot on your name. Okay, you're gonna be known. Hey, what, what, uh, what's the word? Hey, you're gonna have a stigma. Okay, and you're gonna be. You're not gonna be able to be trusted. You know, you're gonna be cast out of the congregation. You know, so hey, don't. You know, don't don't. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, not capitalize, but no, for lack, lack of better terms, don't capitalize and take a brother's kindness for weakness, man. All right? Because, you know, you might have a brother that's sincerely helping you out, you know, and he, and he knows your situation, and, and but or, or he think he knows your situation, but really you're being deceitful. And you're just taking advantage of it because, well, he has to do it. He's a brother. You know, which that ain't what we about over here, man. You know, if you really in, in need of something, 
whether it's admonishment, whether it's a breakdown or to find a scripture, you know, that's fine, man. But don't take advantage of a brother, you know, uh, um, for evil, all right? Because the Lord is going to require it of you. It says, extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull. Uh, I want to skip down. Um, I'm going to jump down to verse 7. All right. It says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Hey, and that's why we don't, not just anybody can uh, come amongst the congregation, man. That's why we you know we have to prove men in the scriptures. The scriptures even tell us that uh, try every spirit by the spirit, whether it's of the most high. All right, so this is the same thing here. It says, um, prove him first. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna try his spirit to see where, you know, see where his head's at. See, is this really a man that's um, that's for the cause, or is this a man that's for his own cause? All right, it says, and be not hasty. Uh, be not hasty to credit him. All right, don't don't praise a man until you know what he's about. All right, give him bend him not God's speed, or you're gonna be partaker of his evil deeds. All right. Now there are certain men that are crept in unawares, you know, and they they um they fall into this category that I mentioned in verse one. They have an ill name now because they crept in unawares. They pretended like they were a brother. You know, a brother did, probably did prove him, man. All right, but you no know, Jake, you no know, Jake uh, can be deceitful. They can be manipulating, and Jake are the best actors upon the face of the earth. All right, so it's easy to take advantage of a um, take advantage of a brother if you believe that um, once he once you get in and he believes that you're really down for down for the uh, y'all by shimmy outside, man. All right, it says um. For some man is a friend for his own occasion, you know, for his own personal reasons. All right? It has nothing to do with being a true brother. It has nothing to do with furthering the ministry. It has nothing to do with um, being a man of the Lord. It has, it has nothing to do with, with growing. All right? <laughs> he has his own devices. And he's not going, you know, it's, it, he's, he's just there, um, what they say, um, he's only there when, you, when you're doing good, man. Some friends aren't there when you're doing good. And that's not what it's about, man. You know, you know we, we're supposed to be with each other. When a brother's doing bad and you're doing bad, man, y'all y'all put your put y'all head together and figure something out. You know, you know and, and that's, how you, that's how you say you get it out the mud with that brother, man. Some brothers don't want to get it out the mud. They run, they they want to just sit around not do anything, and want to take advantage of a brother who's you know who's you know who has um maybe has a nice amount of, may have a good job, you know may have a nice car, and you're just taking advantage of it, opposed to um being there when that when that brother didn't have nothing, man. No, you're not there when he don't have nothing. No, when that brother's down and you're doing good, you don't want to help him, you know. That's you know that, that, that's wicked as hell, man. All right. It says, "Oh, it's lucky." Uh, all right. It says, "Um, some friend is a friend for his own vacation. He will not buy it." start doing bad and his brother's doing good and he's just nowhere to be found man you know they're not gonna abide with me because they don't want to help you out they're just there for their own benefit man you don't take advantage of brothers like that man all right we're supposed to love each other in sincerity and the truth man that, that's how you know, in, the, in the world niggas do that man when it's time to pay up or when it's time to uh 
you know, when it's time to be there for somebody, they don't be there for you, man. That's a that's that's called nigga shit. <laughs> you know, you don't take advantage of the brotherhood for your own ego, personal belly, man. All right, it says, and there is a friend who, being turned to enmity and strife, will discover that reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at thy table, and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. All right. This is what I mean by don't take advantage of the brothers, man. If you if you truly don't have love for a brother, man, j just you know, be that way and, and don't come around, man. Don't be around the brothers, man. Brothers have their own. They have issues they have to deal with on their own. And, and you know, we have the brothers that we look out for because we love the brothers. But if you uh, 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 use a nigga sitting at the table, you know, and you ain't... You ain't really down for the brotherhood. You just there because everything is good. You know, you just come into the um, come to the Passover for lamb, like for the lamb dinner. You know, you only coming around because it's always yayan or uh, um, strong drink. But you're not you're not really gonna be there. You don't you don't really want to um, fellowship with the brothers. You know, you're just taking advantage because you see that there's meat at the table. All right, but when everybody's doing bad, then you know where to be found, man. That's taking advantage of brothers, man. And the most high will destroy those type of dudes, man. It says, But in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. All right? Plain and simple. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face. It is Ozalakia. You know, I forgot that it said that, and that's the spirit, man. I jumped the gun. It says that he will hide from thy face, man. When it's time for him to, to be there for you, when you ain't got nothing or when you're doing bad, you ain't going to be able to find him, man. You got to put out an APB on this, on this nigga to try to contact him, man. You know? It says separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. All right, so we're supposed to take heed of them type of dudes, man. Proving these... Only in this for their own personal gain. They ain't in this for their own man. There's a lot of niggas that's gonna be found out. There's a lot of niggas that are gonna be found out, man. You know, and now if you have that spirit where you feel like you're not being sincere towards the brotherhood, hey, then you need to correct that, man. Because there is gonna be a judgment for that type of person. There's gonna be judgment for that type of act. Alright? It's unforgiving. The most high is not gonna he's he's gonna require it of you. Alright? But it says, a faithful friend is a strong defense. You see? Somebody that's there for the cause, that's there that's actually holding it down. They're because they there because they want to be there. They're there because they love the brothers, man. And he that hath found such a one hath found a treasure. Nothing do it countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is unvaluable. All right? That's, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Once you once you find a good brother, once you get into this brotherhood, you're not gonna find. That's why we we are a catch, man. There's no no group of men on the earth like the men of Great Millstone, man. We are a special people. All right, not to boast up on because GMS is just a name, but you can see the work, so you can see how the fellowship of the brotherhood is. All right, there's no men on planet Earth. They're like the, the men of Great Millstone because we follow the scriptures and we love our brothers, man. All right? It says, a faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. All right? Yeah, and, and, and them wicked-ass niggas are going to get weeded out. You know? They're going to be found out. They're going to be kicked out of the camps. You know? They're going to get bugged out. The Most High is going to destroy them. All right, let's see. Um, you know, that's, that's it. So I'm gonna get into as far as that's concerned, man. But that's why you take advantage of the brotherhood for good, not for evil, man. Not because you feel like it, it, it benefits you. You do it because you love the brothers, man. Period. All right. Call loyal. I'll tell you how about Shimei Shai, about Shimei Karkadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And salutation once again unto the elect Akim, enduring in this truth, with all long suffering sound doctrine. 
Shalom.